Malibu LS for around $199 a month. Call for details. Chevrolet, a legend on the track and a winner on the road. Visit ChewChevy.com. On the Health Beat tonight, a brand new treatment option here in Indiana for patients with throat cancer. It is, in fact, the cancer diagnosis that, that was recently given to actor Michael Douglas. Our Health Beat reporter, Anne Marie Tiernan, joins us now on the benefits of this brand new treatment right here in our state. That's right. And if you look, if we go back to Michael Douglas really yeah. quickly, the reports uh, describe his tumor as walnut size and at, deep down at the base of his tongue. That is a very difficult area to reach. Just ask Gary Collins of Muncie. Gary Collins, a retired veteran of the Muncie Police Force, recently got bad news. I had was a tumor on the back of my tongue, and it was hair way, way in the back where you swallow. Traditionally, the treatment has either, has either been very extensive surgery through the neck, splitting the jaws and the tongue and, and, and the lips to gain access to this relatively inaccessible area. But now surgeons at St. Vincent demonstrate on a mannequin how, like in Gary's case, they are using the Da Vinci robot to go through the mouth. 90 degrees forward, 90 degrees back, all with fairly minimal movements of my hand. To approach cancers on the tonsils, tongue, and lower portions of the throat near the voice box. This has truly been a paradigm shift in the way we treat head and neck cancer. The FDA approved the robot for use in the head and neck in December of 2009, and this is the first Indiana practice to implement it. Huntley now projects future applications for other ailments, like obstructive sleep apnea. The, the possibilities, though maybe not endless, uh, are certainly such that we've just scratched the surface. The equipment all high-tech, but aimed at answering a patient's most basic need. All I knew is I want the tumor gone. And that's what happened. Gary left the hospital after four days instead of the week and a half stay that is usually associated with a traditional approach. Also, going in through the throat helps decrease some of the side effects that impact swallowing, saliva, and speech. Many of these patients are on feeding tubes, and so this is a way to go through the throat and change that approach maybe to improve their outcomes. Definitely some good news for Gary and hopefully others as well. Yeah. Emory, thanks for the help me tonight. Here now is a look at what's coming up next at 530 with John Stair. A growing problem with teenagers could lead to a crackdown on over-the-counter cough syrup. That story is new and next at 530. Plus, a female reporter's complaints about her treatment by an NFL team is leading to a league investigation. Next at 5, what she says players and coaches did on the field and in the locker room. But first, the secret meetings that could be the first steps to a White House run for Governor Daniels. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Ray Skillman Discount Auto Centers. At Ray Skillman Buick GMC, drive the 2011 LaCrosse, just $299.